historic. The ABC there is News an Only in America vibe around all this. And tonight, Rachel Anticipation, live on ABC. energy, on jeopardy. The circus has rolled into Philadelphia for the mother of all presidential debates. The candidates will meet face to face for the first time. And it is certainly the case that with the polls so tight and the options so stark, there is a lot riding on the two candidates who will stand here tonight. How are you feeling? Kamala Harris has been prepping on the road between campaign rallies. Donald Trump cut this weekend campaigning short for an extensive prep session at his Florida resort. And the rally routine hints at his pitch. Stupid, stupid people. And we found that out at the debate with Joe. How did that work out? Of course, we all remember how it worked out. It was the beginning of the end for President Biden, a performance which precipitated Harris's unchallenged rise. Good that someone with the temper Trump has been Trump here before, many times, unpredictable, blunt. Because you'd be in jail. On brand. Harris has had far less of this, but it is perhaps her poise. Uh, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. Well, wait, wait. I'm speaking. And prosecutorial background that could knock Trump off his stride. But it's not really here in democratic Philadelphia that all this matters. It is instead in the harder to reach, harder to win rural parts of tight states like this. I'm probably edging towards Trump um, just because I've, I've grown up in a rural area and his beliefs more align with my beliefs, I would say. In small towns like Oxford, nods to the key election issues are everywhere. Just a few votes one way or the other in places like this could swing the nation left or right. I know if Kamala gets in, it'll be the ca same chaos that's been going on for the past three and a half years. So is, is, has she got any opportunity to change your mind? I mean, could she impress it's you? pretty could... much made up, but I'm not going to say no. What does she need to do to make you convinced that she can run the country? Well, she needs to speak up on what this country needs. And now, when I watched Trump the other night, he shot everybody down and didn't seem to like he wanted to do anything for the country. And so we know just how consequential these debates can be. And in just a few hours, this spin room will be full. And with surrogates from both sides trying to insist their candidate was the winner. Trump will frame Harris as continuity Biden, not the change that the country seems to want. He will emphasize her flip-flops. She was certainly once far more to the left than she is pitching herself now. He'll need to hold his temper too, as she frames him as the past, the danger, not the future she thinks she can offer. She will need poise and she will need policy if she's to counter the combatant we all know. This race to the presidency will pass through a gauntlet tonight.